Hello and welcome to another session. In this video, I will talk about S7300 PLC hardware. For that, we have to travel to one of the site to show you the practical version of S7300 hardware. How the hardware looks like and what are the component inside the control panel of S7300 PLC. How data is coming from the field instruments where actually the wires are terminated inside the control panel. Before we talk about today's video, if you like our content to show your support, all you have to do is hit the like button, subscribe and turn your notification on if you don't want to miss our future content. Now let's talk about today's topic. S7300 PLC still exist in many industries. So importance of S7300 PLC cannot be denied to hunt a job in industrial automation field. That's why it's important for you to understand the hardware. In majority of interviews, the interviewer might ask you the questions about the hardware components of S7300 PLC. In this video, we will try to cover that. We will go to one of the site to show you how the data is coming from the field instruments towards a control panel of the PLC. What are the components inside that control panel? The story starts from the field instrumentation. You can see that field instruments are there. These are high on the process. We got in different instruments like level, temperature, pressure, flow, and other digital signals as well. These all different type of signals are actually coming into the control panel. So the cable from the field instruments are actually terminated, first of all, into the this specific area. That is what we call it, terminal blocks. So terminal blocks are connectors that terminate a single wire and connect it to the circuit or other system. So then the data goes into the input modules. The field signals normally are our standard types like 4 to 20 milliampere, 0 to 10 volt or 0 and 24 volt. These are the signals that comes from the field. These are all analog or these are all electrical signals but when we talk about signals that plc can understand plc processor can understand only digital signals that's why we need some sort of a device to convert the field signal which is either you know 4 to 20 milliampere or it is 0 to 10 volt we need to convert that real world voltage signal and current signal to the signal that PLC can understand. And of course, PLC can understand digital signal. This is the main reason that we need input module. Input module are, is of two types. We have two types of input module, one for digital signals and one for analog signals. For digital signals like zero and one, low and high, for limit switches, for status signals, for sure we need a, dig we need a digital or DI module. DI stand for digital input. And when we talk about analog input or AI, you might see that AI, A for analog, I for input. So this analog input module is for those signals which are continuously varying signal like we got in level, pressure, temperature, flow. For that, we need analog input module. And then these input modules share the data to the processor. And S7300 PLC processor look like this. The role of a PLC processor is to store the control program and data in, and data in its memory. You will, the pro processor will read the status of connected input devices like field instruments. It would also execute the program and based on the program, it would send the commands to the connected output devices, for instance, to turn on the fan, to turn on the light, start the fan, adjust the speed or temperature. And then we got in output modules. Now let's talk about what is output module. The signal that is coming from the processor as we talk about that, processor understand digital language and the signal that is coming from the PLC processor after the execution of the control program is a digital signal. And that's where if we have to interface that signal back to the final control elements, 
Let me explain you what are the final control elements. Final and control elements can be light, fan, control walls, motors. These are all different final control element devices. To send the signal to that devices, as you know, these are, again, that devices that understand analog signals, that understand electrical and voltage, ele current and voltage signals, these signals don't, these devices don't understand your digital language. That's where when you throw out the data from the PLC processor, you need output module. Output, mo output role of the output module is to convert the data from, data from digital to analog back. And now the data is available for your final control elements. And then we got in other components inside the control panel that include safety relays. Let me explain you first of all, what is a safety relay and why we need it. The role of the safety relay here in this particular environment is for the door safety interlocks. For digital outputs, we got an output relays as well. You can see that over here. I try to capture all the information in this video if you like this video. For that, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, turn your notification on. Until next one, take care and bye-bye.